Matt, thank you for that live report. The Dakin Humane Society is in urgent need of help. Their shelter is now overcrowded with cats and dogs, and the situation gets worse as large numbers of animals continue arriving. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago has more on how you can help. This week alone, the shelter has taken in more than 100 cats and dogs, but they also have other pets, like my friend Rupert here. They're asking you for your help in becoming a foster parent or adopt. The Dakin Humane Society is overcrowded with animals. Right now, they have a total of 264 animal shelter, many of them scared and coming from high-stress environments. Lee Chambers, the media and development specialist at the Dakin Humane Society, tells Western Mass News that summers are usually their busiest season, but that numbers may be higher than ever this year. For several weeks now, we've been seeing an incredible uptick in the number of animals that are coming to us, and we are doing our very best to have them have a good place here to be taken care of. To put things into perspective, last week they took in more than 100 animals, but during the same week last year, they had only taken in 71. And while some people, especially in their social media comments, say that adoption prices at Dakin are high, Chambers says that they work with adoption standards to make it affordable to the community, while making sure that those fees also cover resources needed to continue the care for other animals. We crunch the numbers every few years to look at what a typical cost of care for a pet is between the time we receive them and they go home. And the average is around $705 when you consider um, the vaccinations and the medical attention, spay-neuter surgery, um, microchipping, all the basic things that we want our pets to have in place before they go to a home. And um, our adoption fees don't even go to that number. Becoming a foster parent or adopting are the solutions to their overcrowding issue, something that Cameron Tang knew all too well when his family chose their next pet. And the process, he says, was fairly quick. It's so easy. You literally just go online, find the one that you love, um, apply, and then you get a call, and then you just kind of go through like a really simple process of clicking a few buttons. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Daniel Santiago.